Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas, and today we're going to be working on a Dell Latitude D600 computer. Now this is actually an older computer, I think the manufacture date was like 2003 or 2004 or something, but it's still a very popular system. I still see a lot of these computers come in and out of the shop, so I figured I'd make a couple videos on this particular system. So let's begin. What we're going to be doing on this laptop today is I'm going to show you guys how to remove and replace the hard drive. So if you had a bad hard drive or if you wanted to upgrade the hard drive, you can very easily do it by following this video tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is close the screen, flip the, flip the laptop over, and typically, well, in any normal scenario, you'd have the hard drive, I'm sorry, the battery here, and of course you want to release and remove the hard drive, but I've already, I'm sorry, you want to release and remove the battery, excuse me, I just did a couple other videos, but you want to remove the battery before you work on any laptop, so I've already removed the battery on this system, move it aside, get rid of it. So, where's the hard drive? The hard drive on this computer is a little tricky because on most computers I've worked on, the hard drive is underneath some plate somewhere, somewhere located in the middle or something, maybe off to the side. But you you don't have many different plates here, so if you're looking for the hard drive. Here it is, right here on the corner, where the audio, um, microphone, and headphone jack are. In this same compartment, right here, is where the hard drive is located. So to remove the hard drive, unscrew that one screw, remove the screw, put it off to the side there, and the drive, oh, excuse me, should slide right out. So with just a little force, slide the drive out very carefully. Drive comes out just like so. Very easy, guys. So if you wanted to remove, replace, or upgrade this hard drive, you very easily could. You can see the drive is actually housed in this little casing. If you wanted to go further, I can show you guys that you, of course, want to remove the drive from this case, this housing. There's four screws that keep it in this housing. And again, I want to apologize. Um, I, I just did three other videos, and I'm a little exhausted. It's towards the end of the end of my day. Uh, good 10-hour workday today. So, trying to get this few videos fixed up for you guys here. I haven't done a video in a while. So, four screws: one, two, three, four. Drive should just pop right out of the housing or slide out of the housing. Here it is. So let's pretend you just ordered a new drive, it came in, better drive, bigger drive, drive slides back into the housing, you want to screw it back in place, there's four screws that keep this in place. Now this hard drive is actually the old, old, old style, old school IDE hard drive. Um, some old computers, are, uh, obviously old computers are going to have these older components, and in this case this is the IDE. Nowadays you'll see new hard drives that are SATA. This is actually an IDE, this is the adapter, but this comes off and I'll show you guys. IDE. I'm going to put this little uh, adapter back on there. We'll slide the drive back in place. There's one screw we got to screw back in there, and we're done. Okay, so on a Dell D600, uh, this is a Dell Latitude D600, we were able to successfully identify the hard drive, remove, and replace the hard drive. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments section of youtube.com forward slash ITConflict or on Facebook, that's facebook.com forward slash ITConflict. 
We're on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash IT Conflict. And check us, check us out on our website at www.itconflict.com. Soon enough, I'll have a forum for you guys on there, I'm trying to build a little community of people that follow us on Twitter or on YouTube and Facebook, and you'll be able to provide, uh, ask free questions, get free support, all that good stuff. Again, thanks for watching my videos. Have a good night.